The SAFTAs invited all guests and the public to exercise their democratic rights and vote for their favorite TV soapy. Bonang's vote was her secret. Tonight's the night we celebrate film and TV, which is what we do. What do you think the relevance is of tonight? The relevance is the fact that we're celebrating 20 years of freedom, yeah. 20 years of film and television. I mean, we we wouldn't be here if certain things hadn't happened in the country. So, and for you and I to be on top billing, to be part of SABC, to be part yeah. of the South African television industry is yeah. a dream come true. So for me, that is the biggest part of tonight, 20 years of freedom. How important are tonight's awards? Uh, tonight's awards are extremely important. We need to celebrate the hard work that goes on in the industry. We all glam up very well, yes. but at the same time we work very hard. Yeah. And so awards like these are important because they remind everyone that behind all the glitz and glam, there's hard work and yeah. it deserves to be celebrated. Terry, being on the red carpet this evening, is this bringing back any memories of the Oscars? I've been traveling with Long Walk, so we've done a couple of these red carpet events, but this is so special because this is home. Uh, celebrating 20 years of freedom and 20 years of film. What do you think events like this do for the industry? Do you think youngsters out there think, sit there thinking, I want to win a SAFTA one day? I think it's important to, you know, once a year, take some time off, come together, celebrate the industry that we love so much, celebrate talent and excellence. Tell me about the great talent we have in South Africa. Look, I think that South Africa is bursting with talent. It always has. Um, we've always had amazing talent. It's just about time that we started to celebrate it even more and we started going international with it. You can see even in Hollywood right now with what happened with Elysium, with District 9, all those kind of movies where South African people are even talking with a South African accent on American films. Is it still awkward to watch your husband on TV? I watched him yesterday. Uh, we were watching Sneak preview yeah. of Mandela's gun and he was kissing somebody. I'm looking for her. <laughs> What's her name? Zet. Yeah, I wanna meet Zet. <laughs> That's why you've grown your nails. Yeah. <laughs> As for dresses, Anelim Doda trumped everyone. Tell me about this outfit. You've even got the pipe to go with it. Do you know what? For the first time ever, I read the invite and it says black tie or traditional. So I was like, I can wear traditional. <laughs> so then I literally everything I have was found like either at Alex, the t township yeah. Alex, or stuff that my mother left me. So it's stuff I had and I'm so excited to be wearing it. Yeah. Amanda, you look amazing tonight. Thank you so much. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a Nile Buerta. Actually, first time I'm wearing her this evening. Oh, yeah? yeah, and I'm loving it. It feels like silk. I feel like I'm going to win tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so you're nominated tonight. Are you excited? Um, Actually, Intersections has been nominated yeah. tonight, so I'm here supporting the crew and I hope we win this evening. And the winner is Quizzical Pictures Intersections. Best TV Drama and Best DOP on a TV Drama went to Intersections with its gripping storylines exploring taboo issues on HIV AIDS, love and relationships. Best Actor in a TV Drama went to the show's lead, Siabonga Twala. When you win an award like this, what do you take away from this? Is there a lot more pressure? Not really. I think every character that I get to portray uh, has to be part of the story that I'm telling. You know, so it, it's, it's a new story. For me, every role that I play, it's a new role, a person I've never met, a story I've never heard, you know. And uh, so, so, yeah, I, as long as I believe in that character and, and the story. The production consulted widely via Facebook and focus groups, which gave Tina Chatla's character real edge and landed her best actress. Yay. When they called your name, what were you thinking? Did it really happen? Yeah. I've got it. It happened. <laughs> it happened. Yeah. I'm very grateful. I would like really to thank God. Um, yeah. It's been years waiting for this auspicious moment to happen, and now it has happened eventually. Thank you. And the winner is Kumba! Kumba, Bruce Retief. Triggerfish Animation Studios' tale of a half-striped zebra's quest to earn his stripes won Best Animation. Then composer Bruce Retief made it a double, winning Best Music for a feature film. An animated feature has far more highs and lows in terms of the emotion. Lots of exaggerated action and comedy, so you've got to accentuate the music all the time. But also it gives you a license to be more uh, kind of cheesy, if you like, with the music and more kind of out there. Tonight, SAFTA is proud to present Abigail Kubega. Winner of the Lifetime Achievement Award, Abigail Kubega has been in showbiz since joining Miriam Makeva's Skylarks in 1957. This award's not just for one show, this is a culmination of all your life's work. It's just a calling. Yeah. And uh, I just enjoyed what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I was acting and I was singing. So, and I never expected this. 
and then after 54 years in the industry, I'm getting this, which is awesome. If the evening's younger stars look and sound as good as Abigail in another 54 years, they'll be doing well. With